When I was growing up, it was, it was very difficult to be, you know, kind of a quiet kid who was being bullied, who felt very different um, from everyone else. So for me, books were an escape and writing was an escape. And, you know, a lot of people talk to me about drive and determination and where it came from. And it's not that I ever really, really thought about it like, oh, I'm, I'm a very determined person. But what, what compelled me forward growing up was this idea that I had a dream and that one day something bigger could happen for me. And, you know, at night, Sometimes I would be curled up in my bed with a blanket and crying and, um, you know, I couldn't wait to get out of school, but it seemed like forever in the future, you know, because when you're young, time seems so long and short at the same time. But I would think, this is terrible now, but one day um, something better will happen. And because I had that, that dream and that, that really solid belief, um, you know, I felt like I was going to make it happen and I just kept going. So, you know, I would, I would write, work on craft, send out short stories, get rejected, but, but I never let the rejection really get to me because if, if I let that get to me, then I would have to let go of that, that dream and let go of that security blanket. And I wasn't willing to do that. So you know, one thing that I tell young people when I speak to them is, is one of the most important things that we can do is create, whether it's stories or music or singing in your room, uh, at the top of your lungs, no matter what you sound like, putting something out in the universe that you've created that's just yours um, is so important because there's so little that we can control, but that's one thing that we can control, what we create and what we put out there. Um, and what we do with it.